Cause it's gonna be a beep beep. I wanna draw a little doot doot. Cause that's what I wanna do. Yeah. Uh. Oh man, how do I? Uh. Yeah. All right. Let me test the sound. Do I hear anything? Wait for it. There it is. Okay, we got that going on. I close that window. Close that window. Uh, close that window. I don't know if anybody's gonna show up to this silliness, but um, you know, whatever. We're gonna we're gonna do some drawing today. So, um, no one's even watching yet. So I'm, I'm gonna. Oh, there's two concurrent viewers. One concurrent viewer. I guess I'm my, my own concurrent viewer. Um, so, yeah, uh, you know, for those of you that have been involved in streams I've done recently, especially on Twitch, <clears throat> um, I, I've been making D&D uh, &D tokens and Yeah, I'm just I'm just gonna be working on one of those today. I've been working on my visual effects demo reel all week, uh, maybe even a little longer than a week, and uh, and I'm just hey, sorry, I missed last stream. I was out grocery shopping and my cart didn't want to behave. It's okay, Azura. That's you know, this is not a um, missing a stream is not something that I worry about uh, as far as people. Um, showing up or not I'm just I'm glad when you do and I'm I don't want to say ambivalent if you don't but like you know I get it I get it sometimes you just you don't have time to watch people do random shit on the internet you know I I don't have time for that not usually anyways um, I did invite there might be some new people in here today I put a link on the uh Discord channel for uh, Dave Ross fans that I I'm in and follow, and I um, I sometimes hey Janice I'm good how have you been uh, and so there might be some people in here that don't really know kind of how what the vibe in this in this situation is like and that's fine and we'll we'll learn you know we'll all kind of get get this thing happening together. So, um, yeah. Hey, Nolan, thanks. I'm just, yeah, I'm, it's, uh, this is gonna be a little fairy guy. Um, I haven't decided exactly how I want the wings thing to go. Maybe I just won't do the wings. Let's get rid of the wings. Yeah, so we'll do some wingy, some wing deletion right now. And then I'll come back to it later on like a different layer. Right now, I just want to get these values in here. Um, but this is going to be, if you guys have ever read any of the Dresden File books, uh, I have a buddy who made a fairy character uh, for our pickup d and game. Uh, he's based off a of Toot Toot from the Dresden Files. Hey, Candace, how's it going? Um, and, uh, and yeah, this is just his, like, kind of happy little... Uh, his little pleasant little uh, fairy fighter guy, and um, I'm just, what am I doing? I still got a selection going. And I just, uh, I wanna, I wanna have him be what we're working on today. I don't know exactly how impish I want him to look, but. So, yeah, like I said, for the past week, I've been kind of working on uh, um, visual effects shots, because I want to start applying for visual effects jobs again, and I, you know, I had one before. I had a demo reel or whatever, but oof, man, it's discouraging knowing that like there are people out there that love visual effect, like just love the, the the artistry of compositing or whatever. And I'm just like, yeah, I kind of picked it up because I got a job in it, and now I'm fine I guess uh, I'm not good at applying for jobs um, 
and uh, I don't like selling myself because I feel like there's a lot of people who are better at everything than me. So, um, you know, I, I, I tend to undersell myself. And, and that's, uh, that's a shortcoming of mine. Gonna, I'm gonna try to do my best to be confident if I can land an interview or whatever. But, uh, yeah. So we're gonna draw some tokens in the meantime. This is one of the only, um, I shouldn't say one of the only, but this is a little, uh, extra source of income I get is, uh, the Roll20 Marketplace. Um, lets me put up these tokens and, uh, and and sell them and, you know get a little extra a little scratch here and there it's going okay except for uh, the even more rain we got last night washed out my entire end of the driveway can't get out yet I have a flight to catch to Atlanta oh you're coming to Atlanta why don't you give me a call I'm here Amada and I we're, we're hanging out we're fully vaccinated I guess I mean there is a reason not to uh, but you know, if you're feeling confident and you want to give us a call, uh, I'm, I'm happy to chit-chat if you're in, in where we live, because Atlanta is starting to open back up again, and that's cool. Uh, I just, and like, I don't know, it's, it's hard to, it's hard to gauge, like, how to go forward from here on out, like, uh, hey Sarah the Spring Bunny, good to see you. I don't know. Do I, do we, Ray, do I know? Do you come to these things sometimes? I don't know. Welcome. Either way, welcome to the thing. Uh, we're just drawing, talk, talking about this and that. And, uh, well, we're glad to have you here. And I don't, I don't know if I'm giving you a, a Bob Ross kind of slightly distracted by my own, um, paintings thing, or, uh, if... I'm giving you a, uh, this guy is not focused on what he's doing vibe, but either way, uh, this isn't a very high profile stream, so we're not going to worry about trying to up the product quality or the production quality, I guess would be the word. Um, so, Toot Toot's coming along here. I want to make it look like, uh, He's got just the tip of a gardening spade as his breastplate here. So I'm going to kind of maybe round this out a little bit more. Ooh, man, I just watched that latest episode of Handmaid's Tale. I'm not sure if you guys are into really depressing, dystopian future sci-fi stuff, but God, that's a good show. Just it, at least once an episode, I'm like, I'm, I'm going to cry a little. I'm gonna cry a little about the, the injustices of uh, conservatism on, on our society. Um, let's see, this goes here, and that's gonna go there. I'm gonna overlap this a little. I'm gonna have that go like that. And that way I can blur that out. Same, fully vaccinated, we'll be mainly in the peach tree area working an event, but I'm trying and make some free time. Feels like it's been forever since I've seen you guys. Well, yeah, I mean, if you if you have a little time, I don't want to make it seem like, you know, oh man, Candace was in town, didn't even like reach out or anything. Fuck that. Uh, so, you know, if you want to reach out, cool. And maybe we can make something happen. Come on. Um, and yeah, you know, everybody's just doing their thing. Uh, I'm not really sure how to go about with the, the reopening stuff. Like, I, I kind of want to just, like, start seeing my friends every weekend, uh, if possible. But I also kind of want to be like, no, I don't want to be one of these people that's just, like, th throwing caution to the wind, like, and just, like being like, well, everything's fine now, because I know it's not. Believe it or not, even though I'm uh, on the vaccination train, um, which I hope you are too, uh, I still don't want to get COVID. <laughs> uh, 
I don't. I didn't. I didn't the first time, and I don't want to do any other time. I guess it's kind of inevitable. It's it's kind of maybe gonna be considered like getting the flu now, but um, you know, be nice not to. Um. Oh, I was. Uh, I enjoy watching them. I'm glad to glad you're here, Sarah. Hey, Lindsay. Glad you're here too. We got like five people here. That's great. You know what? A lot of people would just be sitting here drawing alone, and I got you guys to hang out with. And I just wanted to touch base because <clears throat> I know I say this every single time I stream, but I think about it all the time. And I'm like, I should be streaming today. I should just share some stuff because I feel like you guys enjoy it when I do. And, um, and then I don't. You know, I just don't. And I, uh, I want to get into the habit again, because I like hanging out with you guys, and uh, I feel I feel better about a day. I feel like I've gotten something done on a day when I stream, uh, if for no other reason than having the accountability of <coughs> you guys. Uh -uh. Bashu, y you gonna make? The little, little lady. That was Bashu. He's been recently shaved, and he was mad about it for a while. He's kind of, and we didn't, we didn't do that like thorough of a job. Um, I, I kind of just held him, and Amada did all the shaving. And I don't want to uh, disparage Amada's cat hair cutting ability, but we were, we were rushing a little bit, and um, yeah. You know, he's mad. He's a mad boy about it. Let's see. All right. So, got all, I'm going to quit working on this breastplate for a second. Um, hey, Chris. Good to see you. Hey, Jaina. Listening and watching while I'm working. Sometimes working from home has its benefits. Yeah. Hey, Michaela. Michaela Viskosilova. Viskosilova. That's, that's my attempt at your last name. I'm not going to really try that a bunch. Bonjour. Uh, what's, what's other French words? Croissant. That's how... That's how... Uh, that's my go-to French word. Croissant. Sacre bleu. Mon dieu. I'm sorry, am I making fun of French? And is that a, I, I, what I meant to, I mean to be um, more, uh, I don't know, what, what's the word for it? Maybe satirical? I don't know. I don't know French, so I, I try to, um, I, I try to kind of play it up. That's my favorite part about languages, is sort of the the inflections and stuff. <clears throat> um, art looks wonderful. Thanks, Sarah. So, um, I want this guy to look a little unearthly, but... So what's the name of your latest character you're drawing? So his name is, uh, he's actually based, I was saying earlier, this is based off a character that was in the Dresden Files, um, the books. His name is Toot Toot. Um, and he's a little, he's a fairy fighter. Uh, and he's, uh, he's got a little, he's got a little glowing sword, but I didn't want to include that in the, um, in the thing, in the drawing, because uh, I want to sell these to people who may not have access to glowing swords. I work for a charity where we raise money to get people glowing swords in countries where you can't access glowing swords as easily. So, um, you know, I didn't, I didn't want to uh, show any sort of glowing sword privilege. Yeah, he's got kind of the lion o haircut. I wanted him to be kind of wild. Um, and, yeah, his hair's kind of all over the place. I still don't really have the hang of, like, doing hair. Uh, 
so I, I kind of fudge it, you know, I just sort of do what I can and then see what happens and you sort of trim it down from there. Um, this is not a, this is not one of those art uh, streams where it's like, I'm a professional artist, I've been doing this for years and I want to show you the best techniques for drawing because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing either. So please, uh, don't, don't try and, uh, uh, bye Janice, it was good seeing you. Uh, I don't want to make it seem like, uh, I, I have any insights for anyone. So, just, this is more just me trying to get over, um, some of my insecurities about, like, yeah, you know, I, I don't want people watching me draw, I don't want people commenting while I'm drawing, like, I'd rather... I know you guys are super supportive, so I, I'm just like, sure, you know what? I can I can draw with all these folks hanging out. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Um, I feel like I want to do this. His hair, I had originally drawn his hair with... Strandy. And then, yeah, there you go. So this is kind of, I haven't, I didn't usually do like sort of an ink base before. And now I, I do. Um, I've been doing a lot of, let me see, can I show you guys? Um, <clears throat> my typical stuff looked like, more like this. So it looked, you know, let me zoom in a little bit. Um, more of a kind of hard lines with sort of lighter and, and darker values painted in underneath it. But then, lately, how do I, how do I go to the next drawing? Come on. You gonna make me draw? A... Well, thanks, photo viewer. I could have sworn you had a functionality. But lately I've been doing um, a sort of black and white base. And that gets us something more like this, where, um, you know, there's a lot more blending and stuff like that. But, uh, and then I, I go in and add some like minimal sort of color alterations underneath it uh, um, and yeah we're just uh, we're just getting getting into that sort of style and as you can see hair is a problem here too she's kind of got these dreadlocks that are blowing in the wind which is physically not a thing um, and I've also been getting let me see what other kind of stuff <laughs> this guy here someone this is one of the older ones with sort of the more black and white uh, uh harsh line the, the more graphic inking style so these are all going to be in the next set um including this guy too too so uh I'm, I'm sort of transitioning styles right there um looks professional you should be in an art gallery it's all good <laughs> thanks sarah i mean it's uh you know it's tough. Um, I watched a documentary on Hulu about the art of D&D &D the other day. And, man, it, like, it sh the, the progress they've made from, like, 19, the late 70s until now. And some of the artists were like, yeah, so this is what got me hired at, uh, I forget the name of the magazine, the original D&D &D magazine. Um, but basically what got me hired to be a D&D &D artist was this drawing, and it was like this pencil drawing of like a guy in a cave. And I'm like, shit, like I could do this stuff if if they were still, if the the sort of standard for art was still as low as it was back in like the 70s but man 
it was so I, I don't know if it was discouraging or inspiring to see these artists that had uh, become I don't know if, if if they're still hailed as like kind of fantasy art staples or whatever but like you know these guys worked on one of the most iconic fantasy art on games in, in the world and um, and yeah it was just it was, they were just in the right place at the right time and you know they had the right set of interests so now it's like if you want to work for Wizards of the Coast who currently owns D&D &D, like you know you've got to be like a classically trained painter who uh, you know can render anything at any time and you make your deadlines and you know you're fast and good and not cheap but you know you can do things within a budget i don't know like it's it's very discouraging to sort of be in the art world looking for work right now um so it's it's nice to kind of find a, a place like like roll 20 where uh you can do some stuff that's a little more but you can you can be someone who's not the best in the business and and still like you know make a couple bucks here and there. Um, thanks, Michaela. Uh, so how's life in Georgia with you and Amada? Life's good. We actually just put in our two months notice to vacate our current apartment um, or our current house. It's weird living in a house when I've been living in apartments for the past like twenty years. Uh, and, um, you know, that's exciting, M moving on to sort of brighter and better things, uh, and, you know, we're, uh, we're gonna start looking pretty soon. We've got two months to find a place, but seeing as I'm pretty unemployed, uh, there might be some, some hiccups along the way finding finding a place that's like uh, happy to let us in um, but we'll cross those bridges when we get to them uh, other than that it's you know not bad things are opening up so we've been to I've been I've been to a couple restaurants uh, which is crazy because we've been here since last August and we really haven't had anything except for like a couple of pizzas and, ch and like takeout orders and stuff so um it's nice to sort of know like oh yeah we can actually go and at least get takeout from more places now um i don't want that i don't like that i immediately don't like what i just did um so yeah we're gonna be trying some new places i just found out and i have to I don't know if anyone here knows Sherry, uh, but she's she's a sort of longtime listener who's coming to town, and we were going to get dinner, uh, her and her husband and Amada and I, and uh, I just found out that I'm going to be working that week. I'm going to actually be helping out a friend of mine uh, in a, on a travel gig, and that sucks because it's like that was one of the only things we had scheduled for the month was going to dinner. And now I've got to be like, yeah, um, I got to be in like Minneapolis or something, which I'm I'm excited about. I just wish it didn't. Um, I wish it didn't co coincide exactly with the one thing I had planned this month. Uh, but you know, you gotta you gotta take it where you can get it. Um, so got to call Sherry. And give her that bad news uh, in a little while later today. Another another big development, and I know maybe Chris will be interested. You're being no, we're not being forced out of our apartment, Chris. Uh, we're we don't particularly love the place we live in. It's fine, it's nice, whatever. But uh, there's definitely some major shortcomings to the place we're living in. So it's always been the plan. Uh, we moved here, like I said, last August. It's always been the plan to um, get out of here once the year lease has ended. 
Um, so we're going to be, we're just voluntarily looking for another better place, maybe not bigger, um, but definitely some place that's maybe been more well cared for, uh, get better value for the money, um, or whatever. Just find a place we like more. This place is, like I said, fine. We're not being forced out, um, but it uh, it's just not where, it's not our kind of forever place uh, we uh, we have we have bigger dreams It'd be nice if I had a bigger job but uh, that's that's all just stuff we're gonna have to deal with so yeah um, it's just a transitional period it's not a it's not a crisis. All right. Um, yeah. So don't don't you worry about us. I know uh, a few of you have been keeping up with Luther, A.K.A. Thor TV, formerly known as Steven. Uh, I don't mean to dead name him there. I just want people to recognize what we're talking about. Um, and he's he's had some stuff going on as far as like having to move around for stupid, unfair reasons, and that sucks. Um, but uh, in, in our case, it's just it's just something um, we we wanted to do. Uh, so keep an eye on that. You might see some new pictures, some new locations happening in the near future. Man, see now that I've got all this hair jumbled in here, it's it's just a confusing. It's just a confusing mess, and I have to kind of untangle this hair problem that I've created for myself. Let me guess, you were living next to some bad neighbors, right? Um, I, no, we don't have bad neighbors. Um, we, have, uh, we have a situation right now where we have very friendly neighbors, um, and uh, the neighbors are so friendly with each other that they're just very loud sometimes. So, um, you know... It's not a it's not a huge problem. They're not like causing us problems, but it will be nice if we can find a place where not every single afternoon we hear other other people like you know kind of hollering at each other. Like it's uh, it's not bad neighbors. It's just like a little more of an active neighborhood than than is ideal and if we find another place and we do have neighbors that are kind of rambunctious again then you know whatever like that's that's what happens but uh it, it'd be cool to have a little bit more you know peace and quiet uh but i don't i don't want to make it seem like oh, our neighbors are driving us crazy and we have to get out of this neighborhood no that's not that's not how it is we like our neighbors our neighbors are cool um uh, I'm kind of gonna miss them because I, I I like a lot of our neighbors. One guy has chickens and he brings over eggs for us, so that's kind of nice. And uh, and yeah, and and the rest, everybody else is just generally pretty nice. Um, and you know, it's nice to know that if somebody kind of spoopy is is walking around the neighborhood like. Uh, you've got somebody looking out who, who gives a shit whether or not you get broken into or whatever. Not that that's uh, a, a big concern around here, but, you know, it, could, it never hurts to have a little security, a little, uh, little neighborhood watch situation. So we're doing what we can that going on um yeah i've also been doing a uh, ring fit adventure so that's been fun uh i highly recommend it i don't know if i'm <laughs> i don't know if i'm losing weight or making gains or getting whatever done that i'm supposed to be but 
uh, I'm enjoying myself, and I, I have a, a potentially small to, to moderate game addiction. And so it makes it easier for me to work out when there's a leveling up system and a whole um, a whole system behind it and monsters to defeat and all that stuff and a story. Uh, it's a cheesy story, but I'm having fun with it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm used to having music on while I draw, so I might, might be humming a little bit. I don't know if you've heard or not, but Loki is getting his own TV show on Disney+, Plus, and the first episode airs June 9th, 2021. I'm super excited to watch it. Yeah, Sarah, it's, uh, it's a pretty big deal in our house, this uh, the coming Loki show. Um, eh, I don't want to say anything that I shouldn't say. But uh, we we have our own our own personal attachments to it, uh, and um, Amada's really excited about it as well. So um, we're waiting with bated breath. And I've I've thought about like oh you know what I should do like a I should do like a a thing where we do a stream every week and talk about it, but then I'm like, you know what? No, because there's going to be people who don't have access to it and, and want it to be a surprise when they actually get to see it. Uh, and I, I don't, I don't want to talk about television stuff with you guys. Like, um, that's not the kind of outlet I want to be. I want to be the kind of place you come to talk about general things and not necessarily about Marvel things. Uh, there's too many of that, too many, of, too much of that going on on the internet to begin with. In other news, I'm finally fully vaccinated, so there's that. Good for you, Chris. Now you've been working this entire time, right? Haven't you been doing your your retail thing? Because, I mean, you're front line, dude. Like, you're like totes essential, bro. That would be that. I would have been going insane if I had been working retail seeing how people behave in these stores sometimes like it's crazy people walking around pulling their masks down and other people walking around just blatantly trying to like get other people to do the same and it's like why just let people try and be safe you know, it's not about who, it, it, it's not about this like QAnon, you figured out the conspiracy behind it, like, I don't know, people are infuriating, and it makes me mad, it makes me mad, that's all I'm trying to say, I'm just a mad person, it's a mad world. got these politicians doing the same thing. I'm, I'm, you know what? It's also not a political <laughs> podcast, so maybe I shouldn't be doing that either. Uh, hey, Rena. Yeah, so um, the, the, the vaccination thing is exciting. Um, just a little confusing. Everyone's got their own story about like their apartment building is uh, reopening the gym or something, and every like people are saying, "Oh, I want the gym to be mask free because I don't like working out with a mask on," and other people are saying, uh, "You know, they're going to karaoke now, which is like good, like great, good for you." Uh, not, it's not great though. It's terrible. I know there's businesses out there that rely on stuff, you know, commerce to be coming in and doing that sort of thing, but God, karaoke, 
I feel bad because when I was in California, we did a we did a karaoke event right as quarantine was starting. And I was like, oh, did I help to like spread like a bunch of COVID cases? But hopefully, I've been in the, on the front line, so to speak. And also, yes, some of the customers are just as selfish about the whole mask mandate. And if you're in Florida too, oof, boy. Um, especially since I'm in, yeah. Yeah, the Florida thing is tough. Florida's a real kind of hot button state. Um, I don't know. I don't know how it turned into the place where people, you know, just decided, hey, you know, we're gonna we're gonna be really, really crazy about freedom politics or whatever but that seems to be what it turned into and man I'm like afraid of Florida now and I know there's some people in Florida being like well good we don't want you anyways but it's not good for tourism what you people are doing whoever you are out there not you Chris you're fine I know you're fine Cool, we got that, we got that. He's got his little bottle cap. Uh, got a little bottle cap guy is happening here. Mm -hmm. uh, should get little buck teeth. That's not so bad. Yeah, that's pretty cute. Little cute, little tooty tooty cutie cutie. Just a little toot toot. Um. P.S. I got the worst Florida governor ever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and the, the Florida politicians. That's its own thing of things. The thing of things coming soon to HBO. Alright, so we got this guy. He's looking okay. Hair is still a problem. <sighs> Let's do some hair stuff. Let's get him... Let's get him some shadow under his ear and underneath here and even over here. Okay. And let's get him some highlights, especially over here. Sadness, I have to tell you that I have to leave. So, au revoir. Mesdames et messieurs. Goodbye, ladies and gentlemen. Bye, Michaela. We'll see you next time. Um, we'll need America where we somehow ended up uh, politicizing both a virus and wearing a mask. Yeah, man. It's tough. Like, I, I you know what? And there are politics involved in it. Like, but it's... The, the fact that the science, and I'm not one of these science guys, it's like, well, you know, I went to school for fucking chemical, biological, weapon manufacturing or whatever. Like, I don't know that much about science, but goddamn, like, you know, there's a certain amount of doctors that speak, and it, it doesn't, it shouldn't take that many of them to convince you, like, yeah, it's a good idea to just follow the follow the rules. Just follow the rules for today and tomorrow. Well, maybe those rules won't have to be such a thing. 
and I know there's a few people that feel really super passionate about it, but, you know, I don't want to try and disprove um, a ton of experts and their research and schooling and all of this so that I can have some sort of personal victory like life has always been full of weird stupid shit I've had to do for the betterment of other people but at the end of the day it's not actually stupid shit because it, is, it has improved everybody's life so whatever I mean you, you choose your own boundaries and stuff but uh, you know we're we're at a, a point now where it's like it's kind of on everybody to be like hey man it's cool to be safe bro uh, because this sort of uh, rebel maverick mentality of uh, I'm a dangerous, I'm sort of a cool dangerous guy with dangerous ideas and I got my dangerous internet crew with me and we're gonna we're gonna make plans about filling our cars with gasoline bags full of gasoline and shit and it's like all you gotta do is chill the fuck out and like do your best to you know not panic all the time and not get into fights that you don't need to get into stupidity always gets its way it's true stupidity at least always has its place it may not always get its way there's plenty of stupid ideas that aren't getting any traction in the mainstream but there's also plenty of stu places where stupid ideas are seeded and are growing and that's the really unfortunate part because it only takes a few of those places to like give people the wrong idea about a lot of things and uh, it's been around forever you know there's always been people with real spicy takes um, about issues that should be pretty cut and dry um, but they didn't they didn't have as much of a platform until now. Let's give him this kind of look. Okay. Uh, I don't love this. <sighs> and then there's this. Let's smooth that out a little bit. I talk to myself a lot when I draw. I've been listening to um, hard rock radio on Pandora, and man, they love putting Five Finger Death Punch in front of me. And I don't mind the music that Five Finger Death Punch makes. Like, that's not the problem I have with them. The problem I have with Five Finger Death Punch, I, I don't know if any of you guys know Five Finger Death Punch, but they're a hard rock band, and man, it's like the least self-aware lyrics I've ever heard in my life where it's like a song that's like hey I've had a good life I'm not complaining but and then he proceeds to complain like this this fucking guy like it makes me so mad um it's cool to be safe but it's not when you're acting stupid yeah yeah, I don't know. Like, there's just so many different viewpoints. We've even, here in, here in Georgia, I mean, there, you know, there was that shooting. Because the, the guy, like, it's like a guy thinks it's his responsibility to kill people because he's sexually over under stimulate. I don't know. Somehow it's his whatever his sexual thing was uh, he felt that it was his responsibility to go out and 
do murder. And it's awful. It's just awful. I wanted to work on a new video, but thanks to this tooth infection, I had to put the vid on the back burner. Oh no, Azura, I'm sorry to hear that. It sucks when you don't you don't get to do the things you want to do because of health problems. And that's another sort of whole can of worms is like ableism versus this sort of viewpoint of, oh, well, we can't do anything because if one person doesn't like it, then we have to stop, which is a completely bunk idea. We're ruining comedy because whatever because somebody gets offended and it's like you can still say whatever the fuck you want man say it say the shit like you you good to go but if you say something that's harmful you might not get away with it and I'm sorry about that um but routine when discussing about current event issues yeah it's tough but yeah um so I wanted to touch base with you guys today do a little bit of drawing and I've gotten a little bit done on this guy I feel like I'm ready to start coloring in uh, but I don't want to I don't want to make this into an all-day thing and I've still got to go do my ring fit routine for the day so I'm probably gonna wrap this up and, uh, and head towards the living room for a while but you know um, if you want to see the finished product, maybe I'll show it to you later. Oh, I didn't show you guys the one I had worked on, I think it was last time. Last time I was doing a drawing of a guy with a spear. Uh, bye, Jaina. Hey, is that a Maria? Hi, Maria. Good to see you. Uh, but basically I want to show you the one that we worked on last time yeah it was this guy last time I don't know if I did any coloring on him until later but that's uh, that's how that last one ended up it came out alright I really gotta work on tightening up sharpening up my lines they're a little blurry when you zoom in on them but whatever it is what it is. So here's where we stand right now. Come on. Um, that's where we're at. And uh, pretty soon he's gonna he's gonna have some some other stuff, some color colorization going on him. So so until next time, um, I think what I'll do is. I don't know why comedians are complaining about the cancel culture. This would be the perfect issue to make joke of. Sure, why not? I like to listen to music while I draw, too. I'm listening to this live stream while I'm uh, drawing my avatar, the last airbender OC right now. Oh, that's pretty cool, Sarah. I'd love, to, I'd love to see that. Post it on Twitter. Tag me or something. Let me see what's going on over there. Um, so anyways, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take off. But I'll try and do this more often. Um, I don't want to try to announce any sort of schedule, but we'll see what happens. Uh, so stay tuned. Keep an eye on the Twitter and the other stuff. But I think I'm going to, even though I keep, I can't, I've tried Twitch like three times now, and it just doesn't work out. For, I don't love Twitch. I don't, I don't see why people like Twitch with all the bits and the subscriptions and the hype train and the raids like there's too many rules to twitch youtube it's like people show up or they don't they comment or they don't but twitch is too uh there's too many mechanics to it and it's confusing for me and i don't like it so um until next time uh keep an eye on my stuff and uh, i'll be i'll be doing some more and we'll see you Yeah, okay. All right. Yeah, we're going to do that on the way out. All right. Good. It's, see you next time. Miss you. Love you. Bye. Here I go. Ah.
I'm gonna draw again.